The BuddhaWare program is a step up, step down model that we've developed within Sydney Local Health District. And what that means is that we work with mental health consumers both in the community and in inpatient stays in hospital. So people who are in inpatient stays in hospital can come and stay at BuddhaWare for up to 28 days on their way back home and into the community. But it also works in a step up way. So people who are in the community and not traveling too well, they may be um, showing some of their early warning signs with their mental health um, and just not feeling too great. Instead of waiting or um, going towards hospital, they can come to Buddha first. The Buddha program is the first of its kind in New South Wales. We are very much based off a model that is um, successful and running in Victoria. Um, so their model down there is called PARC and it's Prevention and Recovery Care. Um, and our model is based off of that. Yeah, it has helped me. It just gives me a break from my everyday life. I suffer from really bad anxiety and here they do yoga classes and all these um, groups that just help me try to manage my anxiety and just like, yeah, take control. So it was a partnership between Sydney Local Health District and New Horizons, a non-government organisation. So Sydney Local Health District provides two clinical nurse specialists and a 0.6 occupational therapist and the 24-hour support is provided by New Horizons residential support workers. So Buddha is nothing like hospital, it's a community facility and we want to be seen as a community facility. Um, it's completely voluntary and it's completely collaborative so people have to get on board with what they want to achieve when they come here, whether that's looking for work or upskilling in domestic chores or learning to cook properly or you know being better at socialising. I suffer from paint disorder with underlying agoraphobia. It's the first time I've been out of the house in two years, so it's, it's, it's a bit daunting, but um, it's, it's quite relaxed here, which is, which is good, which has helped a lot. And I've probably been on a train more than they have in the last two years now, and three days, four days, so it's, I'm starting to move and, and, and get out and, and do what I'm meant to be doing. So. In the last five years, I've been in hospital probably a total of five months. So, hospitals a lot different than here, I can guarantee you. It's a good place for people if they want to help themselves. So, just take the 30 days and um, take the time, talk to the workers, and, and get everything you need sorted out. And, and they help, they do, they really help. That's what I want to get back to taking care of the family and back to work, maybe chefing. Or, um, I used to be a butcher, so maybe going back to being a butcher. So. We made the decision to involve peer workers in the Buddha Work Program because I think we all feel it's a really important aspect of working in mental health and, and supporting mental health consumers. We have looked at this along the way of the program and since the beginning of the program is how we could have a peer work uh, perspective and contribution and that's something that we've started to work on and we're continuing to work on a lot this year is um, being able to utilize some of the peer workers at New Horizons I feel and and you know New Horizons and the district feel that peer work is really important for people's recovery because it's important for people to be able to see an aspect of hope D definitely because when you employ peer workers you change in numbers you change the culture of the organisation, become more recovery orientated, more trauma informed, more people centred, and, and which is a better service for, for, for the customers and the consumers, and a better service for the organisations that are embarking on employing peer workers. Having that support, having that building up your support network is so important for staying out of hospital. It's always good to have someone you can ring any time of the day to have a chat to if you're in distress as well as teaching them sometimes to relapse prevention skills. Uh, if the peer worker has those skills themselves, that can be a very important skill to, to share with, with other consumers. People have sought out to come here, which to me says a lot that people would want to access a mental health service rather than avoiding services. I can't imagine doing anything else and that's not a bad thing. I really love coming to work, I love meeting the clients, I love the colleagues. I enjoy supporting people to get back to their own lives and then I love hearing about the lives that they've got back to. We're in a really privileged place where we get to 
be involved and people will let us be involved in those parts of their life and we've seen some people at really low points and then we've seen some people particularly when they come back again at really high points and that's really great to see and you feel like you're actually making a difference to people. It's comfortable, it's always warm, never cold. The hospital's always cold, but here it's warm and peaceful. The house is just, it just feels like a home.